Hey everyone, it's Synth Designer here. Uh, today I want to go through a video on how to create an ambient sound for video games, music. It's kind of a deep cave sound is what I call it, and it sounds a bit like this. So to start, I take kind of any vocal, a smooth sounding vocal preferably, and transfer it over to serum like this. I... So it doesn't have to be that long, but just something smoother. And I go through the wavetable position here, and I pick a spot that sounds kind of smooth and uh, kind of to the point that I want. See here I found a spot that's kind of smooth here now. Then I pitch it down a couple octaves and I put in a lot of unison and turn down the detune. Now we have a kind of a bigger sound already. So it's coming along very quickly so it's a pretty simple uh, preset here. Now the effects, um, they're very simple, just some reverb and delay as you'll see. And the key here is turning them both up quite a bit. So don't be shy and kind of making them a lot bigger than you think you should. This isn't this isn't music here, so it's not going to drown anything out. And of course, I put in a low pass filter as well, turn up the drive a bit. All this is done just to make it kind of a bigger, fatter sound as well. And you could hear it's coming along, it's basically there already. Now, you could keep in a lot of the low delays as well. Uh, I like to take a little bit out. Now you can hear the difference when you turn down the delay. Here's it pitched a little bit higher as well. This is kind of up to you what you want to use it for, but you could hear it, it sounds different here once you start tweaking things and even when you start tweaking the wavetable position too. Of course another big thing is adding a sub layer to it to make it sound even bigger. Again remember to pitch that down. Of course put the low filter on the sub if you're using a saw wave but I like to use a sine wave just for it to be kind of that deeper sub sound. Now here's that preset again that we did at the start. You can hear it's really, really deep. So there it is, a simple ambient sound that could be used in video games, music, if you really want it to be, movies, whatever. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.